Okay, today on Willoughby Family Fun, we are going to try a dragon fruit that we got at Kroger, okay? And we're gonna get our fly out of the way here. So, this is a dragon fruit. Now, I hope it's really good because it was expensive. Yeah. This thing was like six bucks. We tried one the other day and I gotta say, it was a little disappointing. But here is what you do to a dragon fruit. We're gonna chop each end off and make sure we get the, the core or, or root or whatever out of it. Then we are going to slice it in the middle and then we just peel this outer layer off, okay? So if you've never had a dragon fruit, this is what they look like and we're about to show you the inside. So let's chop here, okay? You and might want to take the sticker off though. Oh, uh, well, the sticker will <laughs> peel off, yeah. That's kind of what the inside looks like. Now we're gonna cut the other end. I think this is the root end, so we gotta cut a little deeper to make sure we get all the root off. Okay, so yeah, there's no root showing, okay? Now we're gonna slice it this way, and then this outer area should just peel off. Okay, so now we're gonna slice it this way. It's not a hard fruit to slice at all, okay? And this is what the inside looks like. If I can get it cut the rest of the way, there we go. This is the inside, and I guess those are little dragon fruit seeds. And it's supposed to be pretty sweet, but when we tried it the other day, it just was pretty disappointing, to be honest. But here we go. Now we're gonna just try to peel this. And when we watched a YouTube video on it, I think more of the red stuff came off when they peeled, okay? I think it's pink, Dad. <laughs> pink, red, whatever. Close enough. Dad. <laughs> So here we go, we're gonna peel this one and it peels really super easy. And we had it stored at room temperature because that's the way it was at Kroger. I don't know if it would peel better if we had it at like chilled in the refrigerator and then it slices super easy, but it's a fruit. You would expect it to be pretty soft. And we just sliced it up like this, kind of like, look a little bit like watermelon slices, okay? So, and here we are, we are done. And you want to take a bite, Kate, or you want me to? Sure. You, okay. I'm gonna... Okay, so we've got our dragon fruit sliced and peeled, and Miss Kate is ready to take a bite here. So, Kate, be our official dragon fruit taste tester and give us a review on the dragon fruit. Okay. It's kind of sweet. Kind of sweet? Hmm. Would you pick it over like a banana or a grape or a watermelon or are all those better? Yeah, they're probably better. Okay. I don't know if it's perfectly ripe yet. Okay. <laughs> well, we've let it set. I don't know if it gets much riper or if we just got a bad <laughs> one or what, but it was not worth six bucks for that little piece of fruit, in my opinion. Let me try it and see what I think. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can flip the camera around here. Oh, I guess I can't flip it around, can I? That didn't flip it? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Here we go, let me, here we go, I'm gonna try it now. Mmm. I would describe that as mildly yucky. Mm. The seeds have kind of a texture to them, so it's not perfectly like smooth and soft, and it was kind of bland with not much flavor to it. So I've given it a pretty low rating, but dragon fruit, we tried it. Mm. Say bye, Kate. Bye.